Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting a warrior of Minas Tirith from the Middle Earth strategy battle game. So first thing I'm going to want to do is get his base ready. So I'm going to get this medium sea gray down. And I'm going to dry brush it into his face. Let me get my dry brush really quick. Ooh, there it is. Okay, let me wipe most of it off. And then we just gonna get, get in his face area here. And this is gonna prep it for the contrast paint that we use for his face. So it's the only thing that we're going to use contrast on for this guy. Then we're going to get our matte white and do the same thing. We're going to dry brush that into the into the face, but we're going to use it a little bit lighter. the model while that dries. So let's get our brush here. And we're going to start with a dark blue gray for their pants and like the, the clothy parts. I like, like the bluish undertones for these guys. This might be a little bit too gray of a color. Um, we'll see as we move forward. And you gotta kind of pick out the parts that are cloth. So maybe the glove here, like the underside of the glove. These guys aren't as detailed as the rest of, well, they're smaller than the rest of Games Workshop models. And they're built a little different. So it's gonna take some getting used to here, but we'll just kind of Work through that. Maybe the back of the, the leg here. Is also this color. Okay. Now let's get <coughs> a this. You can see black brown, black brown, this German camo black brown, and we'll use that as our back of our boots and our scabbards or sheaths, whatever you want to call them. So the back of these boots look like they are. different material, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, and then get the sheath here. Other side of it. Okay. Now we have lots of metallics to paint. So let's start with gunmetal as our base for the armor. It's a nice dark color, darker armor color. Mm 
Let's get that on nice and good here. You just want the top of the shields here and the bottom. Bottom of the shield. I actually should have used that blue gray on the shield as well too, so we'll have to go back in a second. But let's just get all of this coated. And this gun metal first. And then we'll move on. Look at that with the brown as well, too, because it looks like it should probably be that color as well. So, let's get the boots. Get the tip of the sheath here. We get all of this painted, get the blade of the sword. <clears throat> Quick, let's go back to our blue gray and get the inside of this shield. Just get that coated there. And then we go to our black brown here. And just get this belt that's right kind of here on the guy so that we have all that done as well. And now we can get some. Let me see here. Oh, we need some leather brown right here for the back of the shield because it's like a wood, woodish, woody color. So just paint the back of the shield with our wood color. Wipe it off the side there. And 
Now we're going to take some Nolan oil and darken the, the armor a bit. some better areas for highlights and stuff showing up when we go over it again with a lighter metallic color so we just kind of go over the thing there you go as well. Okay, and then we will take, let me see what should we do now. We can do some like little highlights on top of the, we'll get this ultramarine color. Do you want like a darker blue? Let's get like a darker blue. Let's get this Prussian blue and use that kind of as an edge highlight over our blue gray areas. So just kind of like pick out those little areas here. Same thing here. Just Move it along in there with this. I guess if we just take the original color back and then while it's wet, just kind of blend it. Okay. So now we can take some of our white and we're going to go into the shield here and try to get the tree painted as best we can here. Just like don't push too hard into it, just kind of lightly go over the pieces that you can see here and do your best to get it. It ain't gonna be perfect because it's really tiny, but it'll be decent. Same thing on the chest here. There's a little bit of the tree. You get it if you you want to try to kind of get it with the white. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to take our silver and we're going to kind of edge highlight over the top of the plate. to give us some more contrast here. Let's put them on there too. Let's get the, just kind of work in like streaks. Just kind of pop it in with little brushes every now and then get the high spots 
of the armor. Get like this guy. This guy's really bright. Get like the edge of this sword here. there some of the upper spot of the armor there yeah just so just pick out the spots that are like the the highest points on this guy and kind of do your best to blend those in I know these aren't really high points right here on the shoes either but it'll help Bit with stuff, and then here, just kind of get the tops of those. Make sure we get the top of this sword again. Okay, and now we are getting the bronze breasty breasts, and that's what we use for the cross guard and the pommel of the sword just to break up those colors a bit more Okay, and then for his flesh, we're going to get our Gilliman's Flesh Contrast Paint. And we're going to do our best to get it in there. And then we'll pull it out there, pull it out there. And then for the hair, we'll just take this black brown and then we'll go through it with this. And we'll take the leather brown and kind of just get the tops there. And of course we're gonna mess it up and hit the helmet. So you gotta go back in the helmet and get that. And then for the back of the shield here, we're gonna go in with some monster brown. Just kind of paint little striations in the back of the shield so it looks like um, wood grain kind of the best that we can do anyway. So let's take it and just just do like a downward motion in there. Go back into our leather round. If we have too big of a clump like we do here, and just break it up. And there we have it. And there we have a warrior of Minas Tirith. Done and done. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Wednesday. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.